Greetings, peasants of Westeros. It is I, Melisandre, chosen of the Lord of Light. The great high priest Benevro has sent me to this land to rouse the fires that burn in the hearts of men, for the children of the great Arthur are coming, and with them the promise of a cold winter without end in a land populated only by those you call the White Walkers and their legions of walking dead. Sir Thoros of Mir was sent to your King Robert to prepare the way for one true god, but his efforts ultimately proved to be less than even the least that could have been expected. But rejoice, for where another has failed, you humble people of the sunset lands, I shall not. King Stannis has heeded my words of the coming long night, and has bent the knee to the royal law, acknowledging him as the one true God. In the wake of the tragic passing of his brother the king, Stannis has rallied his forces to the Lord of Light's call, calling all true hearts to swear to him fealty. For make no mistake, he is the one true king of Westeros, by right of blood. The bastard pretender that seize the throne now will soon have his threat cut, as was the case of the king's foolish brother that sought to seize the throne from his elder brother and rightful king. Now is the time to bend the knee to the prince who was promised, Stannis, chosen of the Lord of Light. Tis the time to reject all false gods and cause their pathetic wooden idols into the flames to be consumed by the Lord of Light's wrath. For mark my words, the false gods you call the Seven will not save this land from the icy fingers of death. Nor will the drowned god, the many-faced god, or any other demon posing as a god. The Lord of Light and the Prince who was promised is your only salvation. And for those of you who would reject such benevolence, it would be most foolish indeed. For those that serve Lord Stannis that refused the Lord of Light met an abrupt and fiery end. But you not need suffer such a dismal fate. Choose right law, good people of the West Rose, and kindle the fires of courage that Red God placed in every heart when he created man. Else you will suffer a most unwelcome fate. For the night is dark and full of terrors, and the Lord of Light will not acquit any who turn from his call.